We are in the Arboretum here at Indiana University and totality is setting in and you can actually feel it right now. The temperature has dropped. It is getting a little darker. Uh, what's the time now? It is 2.49. 2.49. So totality is 3.04. Mm -hmm. So just a few minutes away. Let, let's go walk around. And Okay, this is Katie. She's she's our multimedia. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, we're at eighty percent right now. It's looking like it. Just kind of looking with through the glasses. I'm super excited. This is my first eclipse. Um, I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know where I was at the 2017 one, but I missed it. So I'm really excited about this. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, you're supposed to have your glasses on right now when you look at the sun. Let, let's go ahead and walk around and see if we can talk to some people. Maybe take a, yeah, show everybody. This is the Arboretum live right now throughout Indiana University. You can see a lot of cameras pointing up toward the sun right now. And it's definitely getting darker and cooler. A lot of people over at Memorial Stadium, over at Dunn Meadow. A lot of people coming from all over. Visitors, we talked to someone from Germany today, I hear. Uh, Maryland, of course, Illinois, Chicago. We have a lot of big telescopes right over here. We had chalking going on, 2024 IU eclipse, looking good. We see uh, someone with a filter on a camera straight ahead, getting photos. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to point cameras also into the sun until you're at total totality. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look over here. I'm not sure what department this is. Is this the astronomy department? Yes. Hi, can we say hi really quick? Sure. Who are you? Hi, I'm Zach Moss. I'm a visiting assistant professor here in the astronomy department. Okay. You can feel it's getting darker and cooler. I know. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're all experiencing right now? Well, right now, uh, the moon is passing farther and farther in front of the sun. We're getting less and less light. We're watching the shadows get sharper, and we are rapidly approaching totality, uh, in which we can look safely at, uh, at the eclipse happening. Right now, we have to use our viewers. We have telescopes set up to see it, um, so it's been really exciting. Yeah, what's the reaction been like from everybody coming by? Oh, it's awe. Um, a beautiful thing being in astronomy is understanding the cosmos and it's sometimes hard to share. We have Hubble images, we have JWST, but this is a moment that everybody can go up and look through the telescope and just be really excited about astronomy. And so that's what we've got, excitement, awe, and ready for totality. Yeah, those are pretty big micro uh, telescopes. Can you talk a little bit about what they are? Yeah, we have, uh, I think they're eight inch telescopes. We have filters on where the light is coming through on the top uh, to make sure they're safe uh, for people to look through. And it just looks like a big magnified version uh, of what we're seeing here. We also have things where we can project the sun, and so that's a smaller version. But yeah, the telescopes are just giving us a close-in view. We can see sunspots. We can see cool things happening. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Happy eclipse. Happy eclipse. Let's go take a look at these over here, and let's see. Yeah. How does it look? It looks really cool. Really cool? Awesome. <laughs> How does it look? Can you see? Yeah, 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 it's really interesting. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, are, are I do. you live here? Yeah, in IU. IU, sure. okay, great, great, great. Yeah. This woman is, is an astronomer, and her husband is right there. They met when they were observing a total eclipse 17 years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who here? These two? This, yes. this, this yeah, man. That oh, happy anniversary. <laughs> you shared our secret. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know? now, you'll be, now, you'll be now everybody knows it. Uh, how yeah. exciting is this? Yeah, thank you. Yes, it Think was. Day. Yes, yes. Yeah. It was 17 years ago, I guess. We went to Turkey, you know, the total eclipse was happening there. We met each other and it led to our marriage, you know. Amazing. Yes, yes. What and a great a story. Total eclipse and that I'm inside it. Right. Yes, yes. It's getting darker and darker and cooler, isn't it? Yes, it's markedly darker. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's threatening me that I should be careful. Oh. You know why? You know why? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. As we're getting closer and closer, Pat. Pat Bean's with me, our producer. He's our shooter. <laughs> Here's a great look at the Arboretum right now, as you can see. It's really starting. You can see the shadows creeping in. A lot of people. No traffic 
everyone I think is where they're going to be right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Show Pat. Show the shadows. You can see individual hairs, which is on deep. the camera. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking at the sun right at the at the sun right now with my glasses, of course, and it's just a sliver. Yeah, it's a sliver. Yeah, it's just a sliver of. What time is it? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Okay. Seven minutes. Seven minutes to totality. Thanks for joining us. This is the double here paddle. Let me grab this for a second. The center of totality, eerie. It is eerie right now. A very eerie feeling. We have a sliver of sun showing, just a sliver, and still this much light. Of course, I think the camera on the phone is also adjusting for the darkness here. This is our staff, our TIU, FIU staff. We're right next to the Radio TV Center here on campus. Another shift. It's getting darker. You can really feel that shift. There's the IU Carolyn getting ready to tell us it's three o'clock. It'll be interesting until we could see the planets, some of the planets, Venus, Mars. A lot of weird shadows on buildings. Just very dim. When you say it, just very dim. Yeah. <laughs> what? You got attacked by a bee? Yeah. <laughs> very sharp shadows because there's just a sliver of sun. This is live. YouTube Live from the Arboretum at Indiana University. The Eclipse 2024, I've been reporting on this for three months. And it's finally here. Another shift, I feel. Yeah. It's getting really much darker. <laughs> and I can't explain how dark it's getting right now. I know the phone doesn't really pick this up, but it is really getting dark. This is unbelievable. Wow. Very close to totality. Hearing people are really... Everyone's standing. Everyone is talking about how dark it is. Look at the shadows. Look at the shadows on the pavement. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And now you're hearing. And people are cheering. Wow. And there it is. Complete totality. Unbelievable. And look at the stars, look at the planets. It is dark, folks. You can tell it's even darker in person. There was a roar of the crowd, a lot of, oh my gosh. It is 3.06. And just unbelievable. The plane, you can see the planes with their lights on. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's
it's hard to see if you can really see any flares, flare up from the sun, the corona they talked about. I know that you can't really record it on your, the phone, but This is unbelievable. It's just unreal. Yeah, and some of the street lamps are on. You can see. Clear skies, not a cloud in the sky. Unbelievable. We're live from the IU Arboretum in Bloomington, Indiana, Indiana University. We're on YouTube Live. Join us at 6.30 on WTIU, WFIU, and streaming here for a recap of the day's events. We have reporters all over Monroe County and Bloomington. And now it's starting to get light again. Oh. And now listen to the crowd. Round of applause. And just like that, just like that, the sun is back. It's still dim here. Of course, the phone is adjusting, but... Well, you could not have asked for a better day, 74, I don't know, 75 degrees maybe. I mean, it did. It did. It, it, it got cool. It really got cool. And there's some history. All right. Well, we'll continue to update you on our X, Twitter, formerly Twitter, Facebook, with updates on traffic and other things going on today. But join us at 6.30 here on our YouTube stream. Uh, we're going to have a half-hour live show from our newsroom. And I uh, would love to get you up to date on all that happened today. Couldn't be everywhere at once today, but it was great to be here at the Arboretum at IU and witness this event and share it to some of you maybe who couldn't be here or stuck inside today. I'm Joe Wren, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.